Welcome to a look at Tropical Cyclone and CA4. Currently on the screen is a look at the NOAA Flatus. This update is being produced by the Force 13 Australia Oceana team. And Tropical Cyclone CI4, an apology for the pronunciation, Butra. It's turning out to be an unpredictable system. The Bureau of Meteorology, Perth Office, Tropical Cyclone CO4 lies 11 of 50 kilometres to the northwest of the Cocos Island and is currently outside the western region. There is a slight chance the system may move into the far northwestern parts of the region later in the week. If the system does enter the region, it is likely to be below tropical cyclone strength and will quickly move southwestward out of the region. There are no significant lows in the western region at present. None are expected to develop over the next three days. And percentages remain very low. And here's the latest from the Joint Typhoon Warning Centre, located 5 decibel 2 degrees south, 89 decibel 2 degrees east. Maximum sustained winds only 35 knots, gusting 45 knots. And CO4S is located 1,003 nautical miles east of Diego Garcia, tracking east northeast at two knots. Over the last six hours, it has actually picked up one knot in forward speed. Now, here's the current track from the Joint Typhoon Warning Center. Animated enhanced infrared satellite imagery. Reveals flaring deep convection shear to the rest and obscuring the low level circulation. And we'll have a look at the various tracks, including Intensity Guide, and I'll refer back to the information from the Joint Typhoon Warning Centre. The initial position is based with fair confidence using a combination of the infrared imagery and a 37 gigahertz microwave image to identify the relative position of the low level circulation. And this is uh, caught my eye under the cirrus shield. And the initial intensity of 35 knots is consistent with the PGTW VORA current intensity estimate of 2.5, 35 knots. The environment remains unfavourable with moderate to high 25 to 30 knots vertical wind shear. And later on in this update, we'll have a look at the uh, wind shear, upper level divergence, 24 hour shear tendency, and the 850 minute bar vorticity. However, whilst the cyclone is experiencing high vertical wind shear, offsetting good poleward outflow, sea surface temperature is 28 to 29 Celsius and the sea surface temperature supports intensification and one model is indicating a possible CAT 2 now we have a look at total precipitation this information is available on the Tropical Tidbits website and the HWRF model 
and the GFS. Tropical Cyclone CO4 is meandering slowly along the southern periphery of a near equatorial ridge. By 72 hours, the subtropical ridge is expected to build to the southwest, causing a track to shift to southwest by the 120 hour mark. Throughout the forecast, high vertical wind shear will continue to limit intensification. Now there's the wind shear. Spread in the numerical model guidance is quite large due to differences in the orientation and strength of the sewing ridges, lending support to low confidence in the JTWC's track, upper level divergence, it's around 30 knots. And the shear tendency, you can clearly see that it is in high wind shear. The wind shear scale right hand side of the screen force 13 will continue to bring the latest information on this system and uh, please monitor the AU channel and finally the 850 metabar vorticity and the intensity has actually a weakened scale right hand side of the screen You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com with the latest. You can also find our YouTube page, you're probably there already, but if not, subscribe if you haven't so far. You can also find our Facebook page, Force 13 All in Text, and it's at Force 13 on Twitter if you'd like to get in touch with us on there. You can also help the project become even better by enjoying the benefits of patronage. You can find out more information about how to become a patron and what those benefits are at patreon.com forward slash force 13. You can also add force 13 on Skype and full 13 at extension 9094 on Discord for tropical weather chat.